And federal officials say that the Alaska Airlines jet that suffered an in-flight blowout of an unused door was under restricted use already. In fact, the plane was limited to trips over land, no flying over water for it, because of a warning light that had come on during three previous flights. The door cover, which blew off over Oregon on January 5th, well, look at that gaping hole. The plane did land safely, and remarkably, no one was hurt. Joining us now is Shem Malmquist. He is a visiting instructor at the Florida Institute of Technology and a Boeing 777 captain. Shem, thanks very much for being with us. It's really extraordinary to look at those photos. This plane was restricted from long flights over water after pilots reported warning lights that could have indicated pressurization problems. So, you know, a lot of people are wondering, why was this plane still flying at all? Well, in this case, at least from what I can understand, and, and very little has been released on this uh, particular light, but it looks like it's a automatic or auto pressurization warning light. And it probably, you know, from the sounds of it, would just come across intermittent system. You know, something that maybe is a momentary warning in one of the two pressurization controllers and the controllers switch automatically back and forth on every other flight. Okay, and the piece that fell off, which was a shock to all and continues to be every time I look at the pictures, it's a little more by uh, the two feet by four feet. So when we say gaping, we mean pretty big. Uh, why wouldn't the pre-flight inspections turn up some sort of abnormality with the door plug, is I think what they call it? Yeah, that's a very good question. The uh, in this case, the door plug itself was put in, uh, you know, installed by Boeing, uh, manufactured by a company in Kansas. And when they install it, it is really not something that becomes an inspection item from the inside of the airplane. You really cannot even tell that there is anything different about that location. And from the outside, you can see an outline for where that door is, but it is completely inoperative. Um, it is bolted shut and held in place by bolts. And looking at the photographs, there does not appear to be any damage structurally from the inside other than cosmetic kinds of things, um, of course, insulation and whatnot. But in terms of what was actually holding that door in place, there does not seem to be any damage that I can see from any of the photographs. So the concern will be definitely taking a look at that plug itself and seeing what might have failed on that plug that would have allowed something like this to occur. But on an inspection, it just really would not show up. Uh, you're just not going to see it from the outside. It just looks like a sealed door, unless it was somehow slightly loose you know, that definitely you'd look at it to make sure that there was no gaps or anything obvious, but nobody is going to get up right close to it, especially just two months on a brand new airplane. Well, this is just the last in a series of problems for Boeing, including two deadly crashes in 2018 and 2019. What kind of scrutiny is the company going to be under now? Well, they've already been under extreme scrutiny, and this is just adding to it. Um, ever since the Boeing Max and the entire grounding, everything about the aircraft certification has been reviewed with a very fine tooth comb. And the requirements that they're having to go through um, you know, are really extraordinary. And they, these are going to be applied to any new aircraft certified by any manufacturer. So, you know, currently the other manufacturers have been, you know, able to not have to do this, but uh, they just don't have anything new just coming up right now. But when they do, everyone's going to have to go through a lot more than they ever had before. And with these kinds of repeated events, you know, there was an issue with the you know engine nacelles as well that is holding up the Dash 7 and the Dash 10. Uh, you know, these things are going to take, take some time and require more oversight. You know, one of the important things, uh, you know, from a story you had earlier, regarding funding from the government, the FAA needs to fund so they can really look at this. And I think that's a key component that would really make a difference. So they have the, you know, the ability and resources to do what they need to do. 
All right, Shem Malmquist. Shem, thank you very much. Thank you.